In January of 2020, I ended up receiving a text from a friend that would change the course of my life forever. In the text, my friend said that he had two free tickets to this new fitness event that was being hosted in Dallas, Texas. And he reached out to me to see if I wanted to participate in it. So if you know me, you know I like to try new things and have new experiences, especially ones that are gonna test me mentally and physically. So without even looking at the name of the event, I ended up saying yes and signed up to drive up to Dallas, Texas and run in my first high rocks. Again, I had absolutely no clue what I was getting into. And when we rolled up to the arena, I immediately realized that it was gonna be a lot more painful than I initially thought. So what is High Rocks exactly? High Rocks is a global fitness racing event where everybody runs one kilometer followed by one functional movement. And they repeat that eight times until they cross the finish line and finish the race. High Rocks fits the style of racing called hybrid, which means that you're gonna be running a lot, but also doing movements that require a lot of power, strength, and endurance. In 2020, this is not something that I had and I was ill-prepared for the Dallas race. So let me run you through what that looked like. We drove up to Dallas. I'm actually feeling really good. It's been a while since I entered any type of competition and I was really looking forward to doing my best, giving my all, and really pushing myself to the next level. We get into the arena and when you get into the arena at any High Rocks event, you're immediately gonna hear one of my favorite things about High Rocks, which is the music blasting. You're gonna see people everywhere coming and going, both competitors and spectators. And as you're signing up, you start to get those butterflies that if you've ever been an athlete and you know what it's like to get those pregame jitters, that's exactly the feeling that High Rocks will end up giving you. So you're gonna sign in, they're gonna give you your time chip, which you're gonna put around your ankle, and they're also gonna put a number on your arm. That number is for your race time, as well as the number that will help you check your bags in if you have them. Now going back to my first race, I was in awe with everything that was going on. You see people running laps, you hear people screaming their friends and family members' names, and you see all these different types of functional workouts that people are doing. Before 2020, I had no idea what a ski erg was. I had no idea how effective sled push and sled pull was for gaining strength and endurance. And I had no clue that 100 wall balls could feel so demoralizing. And all of these things are encompassed in a one to one and a half hour race. So you signed up, you got your time chip, you get your number on your arm, and now you get to enter the arena to warm up and prepare for the race. The cool thing about High Rocks is they do have a warm up section which you can meet other racers and learn tips and tricks. I highly recommend getting there early and seeing what other people are doing during warmups. You'll then enter the stage of the start line where there'll be a hype man or a hype woman hyping you up, getting you ready for the race. Once you're in that starting box, you're gonna do a one minute countdown until a buzzer goes off and you're off to the races. Now, how many different types of high rocks formats are there? There's men's, men's pro and men's doubles. There's also women's, women's pro, women's doubles, and mixed doubles. For my first race, I was competing in men's, and within 15 minutes, I started realizing that this was gonna be one of the hardest things that I've ever had to do. Prior to that race, I had run zero times in the past couple of years, and I had no experience doing any of the workouts. Literally during that race, I was asking other people how to do certain things. I had no clue that you can have a damper setting on your skier or on your rower, and changing that damper setting is gonna change how well you perform. And I had no tactics when it came to the sled push or the sled pull. That led to me burning out way too quickly. I started cramping 20 to 30 minutes in the race and I had to walk. So imagine yourself out on a race course, you sign up for this free ticket, and you're really amped up going into this race. The music's blasting, there's people cheering. And then 20 to 30 minutes into this hour plus race, you end up walking your laps. I think at the worst of it, I actually had to walk a 10 minute lap. These days for comparison, my laps range from like 3.30 to 4.30. So I literally was in the back of the pack during the first high rocks that I ever competed in. Why am I telling you all this? Because I want more people to do this race. That first race set the tone for me. I ended up finishing within an hour and like 40 minutes. I was embarrassed. While everyone else was cheering and high-fiving each other at the end of the race and really feeling good about what they've accomplished, I was sitting there on the ground gasping for air and ended up getting sick because I had pushed my body too hard and I hadn't prepared for that race. But that pain sparked something in me and ignited a flame that I forgot I even had. Because I believe this race and the community 
of Hyrox competitors can help ignite your flame for not only the physical things that you're trying to accomplish, but the mental ones as well. So because I had taken such a beating in February of 2020, I had marked down that the next time I would do that race, that I would at least beat my time by 10 minutes. That wasn't my only focus though. I knew that Hyrox would be a way to hold myself accountable, but I wanted other people to join in on that accountability because I know that when you work towards a similar goal, you're gonna get exceptional results. And at the end of the day, it's just gonna be a hell of a lot more fun. Fortunately, at Squatch Frontier Fitness here in Austin, Texas, I started doing my High Rocks training in early of 2021 to compete in my second High Rocks in Dallas in April of 2021. One of the coolest stories I have at High Rocks is my buddy Joe Lindley, who was there to film Noah Heisman and I compete that day. And when Joe got to the arena, he felt what I had initially felt, and he tried to sign up on the spot that day. We ended up not losing our videographer to competition though. High Rocks wouldn't let him sign up. And he ended up getting some quality footage of me being absolutely exhausted again and still not prepared to really compete at the sport. The cool thing about that second time around though was not only did I have this burning desire to continue to do High Rocks, I now had other people that were interested in doing it with me. And I finally realized during that second race, if I put more time and energy into training, that I would be capable to hit a podium at High Rocks. And a little over a month and a half later, after that April 2021 race, I finished second in my age group at the Austin race and then qualified for the US Championships in Chicago, where I would have my first go at Men's Pro. That story is for another time. During this video, I really just wanted to convey the backstory of why I started High Rocks in the first place and how it's impacted my life above and beyond just competing in the arena. So how has High Rocks helped me as an individual outside of race day? First and foremost, it's helped connect me with people across the world who have similar interests as mine. And if you're somebody out there who likes to do hybrid training, which might consist of two a days, ice baths, sauna, red light, a bunch of different biohacks that other people might consider weird, you might feel alone at times. The beauty of High Rocks is it's a family. The people across the world that are doing this are not only trying to improve themselves, they're trying to help other people around them and help their local communities become better human beings overall. While I really enjoy having a community of people that do the High Rocks with me, the second thing that has been really helpful in my life is the mindset that the separation is in the preparation. The more that I consistently ran each day, did the workouts each day, when I got to race a day, it felt like just another day. Now you don't have to compete in high rocks to understand what practice will do for your everyday life. You can apply this to your career, your relationships, to anything that you're working on at the current moment. The more that you show up each and every day and give your all, when the moment actually matters, it's just gonna feel like any other day. So throughout the process of training for IROX races, I then reflected on every other area of my life. Where can I show up just a little bit better and more consistently every single day that's gonna have a long-term impact on my entire life. The third thing that Hyrox did for me is help me build deeper relationships with other people. There's something to be said about doing hard things with your friends, family members, and people in your tribe. Hyrox gives you the perfect opportunity to do this with Hyrox doubles. So you can do either men's or women's doubles, or you could do mixed doubles. You can grab a friend and do something hard together, and this will create a bond that's gonna last above and beyond that day. What does this look like in everyday life? Well, one of my best friends growing up, Alex Radcliffe, throughout the process Process of training for High Rocks, we're sending each other motivational texts, motivational videos, and what it's done is held us accountable to not only being prepared for the race, but building a better friendship overall. Throughout the process of training, we're actually becoming better men and better individuals and holding ourselves accountable to showing up to everyday life in the way that we wanna show up. These are just a few of the ways that High Rocks has had an impact on me, and one of my largest motivating factors is helping other people get involved so they can have the same benefits as well. And that's why I'm documenting the process of my journey of competing in High Rocks from now moving forward. And we're gonna be coming out with another video where I talk about my nutrition and training, recovery, everything that I'm doing to maximize my potential on race day. Stay tuned for that. And I highly recommend potentially signing up for your first High Rocks race.